Hello. Hi, Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm I'm Lisa Rasmussen, and you're welcome to You've Got a Thing. <laughs> I forgot the tagline. Uh, an interview <laughs> thing about Milwaukee theater things. It's almost there like we go. every week or something. <laughs> Thingy things. Um, I'm from Renaissance Theater Works, and all my friends here, uh, new and old, are from Constructivists, and y'all are opening a show tomorrow, preview tonight. Yay! It'll, be, it'll <laughs> all be good. Trust yourself. Trust your friends. Trust the process. Everything will be cool. I think I um, was trust in a, probably about 93, so... Um... <laughs> I'm slowly gaining it back through therapy. <laughs> That's true. Uh, can oh, I can all my friends introduce themselves? Because everybody out here, I mean, if this is the fir your first time watching the program, great. My name is Jamie Lynn Gray. I am a co-producer on this program, uh, artistic director of the Constructivists and director of Babel that we are talking about today. Uh, Maya, do you want to do your... Sure. Hey, I'm Maya. Um, <clears throat> this is my first time on You've Got a Thing. Uh, yay, thanks for having me. Um, I'm in the show Babel that we are talking about today. I'm playing the character of Danny. Um, and I'm coming back to the constructivists from the, the pre-pandemic days. Or BC, okay. as we like to call it. Before yes, pandemic. the before times. Before COVID, were. yes, yes. Um, Hello. Kai, do you want to? Yeah, my name is Kai. Um, this is my first time on the show. Hello. First time with the Constructivists. And I'm stage managing Babel. So, yeah, that's the things I'm doing. I love it. It's great. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, hello. Yeah. Uh, I'm Ekene Kigwani. This is my second time working with the Constructivists back to back. Uh, I'm doing music composition for Babel. Beautiful. We need more composers in town. I'm so excited to meet you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Jamie Lynn. Oh, you froze. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I do that. It's I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really important to be like the person who runs this program and then freezes and it's another thing. You froze in a really fun way, though. It was like, mm -hmm. and we were all like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I live Something in that spot. I live there. So tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, so I know you're performing at the Broadway Theater Center, 158 North Broadway, and uh, in the studio theater there. And Kai, tell me about uh, stage managing slash doing all the things because even though you have no hats on right now lord knows you wear a lot of hats yeah and i don't yeah so yeah so we're in the studio theater at the broadway theater center uh it's it my i've seen shows there but it's my first time working in the space so that was an added layer to the challenge but the basement um, is haunted the basement is haunted i felt that when i'm there alone <laughs> I wander around and I'm like, I don't know what is going on here, but you know, I'm tough and I can show the ghost who's boss. So no problems, but I'm corporeal. <laughs> yeah, so, so there, <laughs> yeah, I'm stage managing. Um, but I also ended up doing a lot of things, which I love doing. My whole thing is that I love like every aspect of theater and I love having a little bit of my fingers and everything. So, um, it's been a nice, as stressful as it can be, it's also been nice to just, like, live in every little aspect and help out. So, you know, I've helped paint the set. You know, I've helped, uh, you know, organize costumes, set up costumes. I've, you know, I do props also. Um, so it was nice to do some prop stuff here because that's my favorite thing to do, besides stage managing, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, you know, I've learned how to do all sorts of different things I never thought I'd have to do. Um, I'm afraid of heights, so I, when I was hanging the curtains, that was probably the biggest challenge so far. But I did it, and I hung those curtains. So 
what are yeah, you, you did. gonna do? You get on the ladder, you paint the ceiling of the set, you hang your curtains. Your palms get a little sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. And your arm is like, up, this arm's up and this one's down. So you're like, this arm gets tired before this arm does. So all um, the blood is rushing out of your arm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. Think, well, I think what's, what's important to note about that, because we were just talking about that a, li a little bit backstage, is, um, you know, because because we are, the constructivists are a, a non-equity company. Um, if, if people don't know what that is, there's there's equity and there's non-equity. The equity is the union. A lot of companies like float in between, like they'll have some equity contracts and then they'll have some non-union contracts. We are, we exist wholly in non-equity. And um, when, you were, when you're working on that level, uh, it, a lot of it is budgetary constraints. And so you can only have like a certain amount of personnel. And so a lot of us have to step up, particularly on the technical end, to do tons of other things to, to, to get the show to happen. But it, that only speaks to our passion and desire mm -hmm. to make great art and, and do what's needed to get it out into the world. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah, and it's nice because not only is that the, you know, mindset, the non-equity aspect, but also the small theater company aspect where, um, you know, you pitch in and everyone, you know, by the bootstraps is the phrase I'm looking for. We're pulling on those bootstraps. And, you know, I think a lot of that, that bootstrap effort really reflects into the final product that we're going to see when we open this Saturday. Yeah. So tell me, tell me your experience, Maya or Ekene, whoever wants to jump in first. I am fascinated, curious. Welcome back from COVID. Yeah. Um, the well, I mean, even COVID-wise, we're all adjusting to how to rehearse and how to create together safely. Um, and I mean, especially with how I, I mean, everyone is familiar with how rapidly things have been changing every month. You know, different safety precautions are advised or, you know, no longer advised or mandated or optional. Um, and so we've, uh, I'm, I'm really grateful that this team has been kind of a smaller team. Um, I mean, it's only a cast of four. And so regularly in the room, it's just, you know, maximum of four of us actors plus Kai plus Jamie Lynn um, with the occasional, uh, you know, people coming in to watch from the tech team. Um, and so we've been able to really communicate easily about, uh, you know, how we're feeling and mask stuff and potential exposure risks. And so it's felt really, it's felt really safe in that way. And I'm really grateful for that, that it hasn't felt like, oh man, COVID rehearsals are drastically different than regular rehearsals. I mean, you know, we're masked uh, the whole time unless we're performing, um, which is different, but at least, you know, we're, we're still able to ultimately make the thing that we would be making if it weren't COVID. Um, so that feels great to be back. Um, yeah. Other other than that, I just I I I like I love this type of show. I love some good dark, cathartic, uh, twisty drama stuff. And so, um, yeah, I've been having a blast. <laughs> With Maya's Maya's got Maya's got sort of the I, probably the best part for the darkest end of <laughs> the spectrum. So you will just have to come and see what that means but but maya is in it in it yeah 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 we take some twists and some turns we we cover you want to every... just talk a, a little bit about like danny and renee maybe a little bit yeah so uh the play follows two couples um jamie and ann and danny and renee i play danny um and danny and renee are a couple who have been together for probably we know at least eight years, probably more than that, probably at least a decade. Um, and they've been trying to have kids for like eight years of their relationship, um, trying to get pregnant, trying to, you know, do fertility studies and, and hormones and all this kind of stuff, just always at the doctors. Um, and that's, so their relationship has just revolved around trying to create that family. And it's become kind of just the identity of their relationship. Um, and you've got really opposite personalities. Renee is very like, very, uh, nurturing, kind of holistic, emotional. Uh, and then there's Danny who is business and statistics and, you know, work and, you know, just very like factual and very like by the book. And um, 
so you know that that's kind of where where we start with the relationship is they're they're excited to be you know we finally are pregnant we're finally about to have this baby and and of course it's it's a dark comedy so you if everything's gonna go wrong um without saying too much i don't want to say too much that's the thing that was good i, was I good. think you i think you explained it well yeah, yeah. <laughs> intrigued yet not fully satisfied with what might happen i love it perfect good, good. then i've done my job <laughs> yeah and I've not read the script, so, you know, I'm like okay. a babe in the woods. Lead me through your story. We like it. We like it. Those are all of our peoples. That's amazing. Yeah. Look yeah. All those faces you, all together. Look, uh, th there's there's a lot of people who are returning on this one. I, I It's very exciting. Not only Maya, but uh, Logan was in Pillow Man way back in the day. Uh and then, of course, our, our standard people of, of Sarah Harris, who's done all of our set and costumes, and uh, Les, who's my husband, uh, full disclosure, he he does all the set construction. Um, Durley was our sound designer on Wink, and then Agony jumped on board to do the sound composition uh, with Durley. To, so they're working together as a team, and they're awesome. Uh, and then Laura Sturm is our intimacy designer. She's been with me the whole time doing, you know, acting coaching and, and things like that. Matt Hipsch has been so kind because he's also a great videographer person and, and, and so does a lot of our video and the trailer things and all these kinds of things. But he was also in, in God of Hell years ago. It feels like years ago. It really wasn't all that long ago, and <laughs> he's great. So, um, so yeah. So we've got we've got we've got a really good team there um yeah and Econate, tell me more about like you know kind of becoming a a composer for theater like <laughs> it, this is your first go around right this is my first go around yes it's a uh, it's been a super interesting experience um i've never i've never composed music on this kind of scale before uh it's been really fun uh definitely like a lot of just trying to figure out between what Chamberlain would like and then what like vibes I'm feeling from like reading the script and then also like from seeing them perform it like I, I might I might get an idea in a verse like oh this would be like a cool way to transition from this to this and I think it's all come together very nicely uh, this is not something that I anticipated really doing but it's been it's been very fun i've never saw myself composing something but it's like yeah this is this is this is you know this is a good a good like spot to be I, i'm liking it That's i mean I think, I think we approach it from uh because ekane and i have talked about writing some other things together uh yeah. and and I was like, well, what do you want to try? And I and I said, if you feel like it's becoming too overwhelming or anything like that, we will scrap it and you know whatever. But but you know, Ekin has been great. Their brain space and and yeah, translating what's in the script because it's a futuristic kind of thing. And you know, they've just been really good at picking up on that and developing that sound for this particular project. It's been it's been awesome. It's been really cool. And Milwaukee needs more sound design, needs more designers, needs more, you know, folks to experience new aspects of what they can do. So I'm, I'm so grateful to get to know all of you this morning. I mean, Kai and I know each other. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I think I'm just really and you know the name of the company is the constructivist. So uh, I think I'm just really interested in giving artists as much space as they can to to do sort of anything they want to do. You know, mm -hmm. if because because Maya also you know assistant directed on on Women Laughing when we did uh, that virtually. So it's sort I I try to provide a space of you want to try something, let's try something. Like Shakira said, try everything. <laughs> it's been our mantra through this whole rehearsal process. Yeah, when Jamie yeah. trying to push us farther, it's like, what would Shakira say? <laughs> try everything. For so anybody who doesn't know, she, it's we're dedicating this production reference. to Shakira. Yeah, it's a it's a Zootopia reference. It's a uh, uh, that's Disney. It's not Pixar, but it's a it's a it's a really great movie. If you haven't seen it, and Shakira's great. 
<laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> so uh, remind us again, when does it run? Tell me more. Babble, how do I catch it? Uh, well, you can find all that you need to know at www.theconstructivists.org. Um, you can find your way to tickets and all those kinds of things. Um, yeah, we open tomorrow. It's going to happen. Um, and then we are uh, going for, for three weekends and we'll close on Saturday night, April 2nd. So I think in total, it's what, nine, nine, nine or so shows or something like that. Um, I've been saying this whole time, I really prefer the Saturday opening. I don't know why we didn't do this a long time ago, it, especially when we only have a week in the theater to, mm -hmm. to do yeah. all of it. I, I don't know, Lisa, how long, how, how long do you all spend in tech over there? Do you, do you do the exactly weeks? the same as you we load in it? sunday monday yep and we preview friday preview friday or preview saturday at four and then open saturday night at eight. Oh yeah yeah i think i think renaissance might have been the first theater company that only had a week of tech to say you know what this is crazy we need at least one day <laughs> you know yeah. so uh yeah i think a lot of folks are switching to that model and i think it's great so we used to preview Thursday night and it was nuts. It was nuts. Yeah. We opened Pillow Man on Thursday night back in, and that, no, that looking back, that was just stupid and wrong. It was stupid and wrong. It was stupid and wrong. For those of don't you do it. who don't know Pillow Man, it's incredibly technically <laughs> Intensive, but you know, it, it's just it's one of my favorite plays of all time. So I'm like, we're doing that one. Uh, and but it, it there's no reason to do that ever again. <laughs> I, there's no reason. Yeah. It just give it doesn't it just make you feel better? Like, like, you know, last night we got to we got to Thursday night and everybody sure there were a couple those first few days were really stressful. I will be the first to say and I, my neck hurts like a mother. Oh yeah. Um, but, but yesterday, you know, we, it, 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 it seemed way, you guys can say if, if it seemed way more stable. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. I can't imagine with the show. I mean, there's some shows that like, there, if there's not really much tech elements, yeah, yeah, sure. We don't need that much to, to do it. But I mean, there was this entire set for you all to build that. I mean, the actors weren't really involved in that, but like all the tech elements that we're witnessing, I'm just like, I, if we had had a, a three day or a four day tech, that would have been a nightmare. And it's still, you know, tech is always rushed. Tech is always stressful. Tech is always you know, a slog. You could always but, use more. Yeah. This show, this show, <laughs> yeah. the script does call for some really specific effects and visual effects and sound effects mm -hmm. and projections and transitions. And it's a pretty minimalist set when you're just looking at it, but seeing all the stuff that goes into the moving pieces and the prop and costume changes and, and effects that I, that I won't talk about because of spoilers. I'm like, <laughs> there's, it's a lot of stuff. So yeah, I'm definitely in favor of the Saturday opening. Yeah, it, because I think it gave us space to, because I do think uh, now, because it's minimalist it, it, on purpose in a lot of way, it, not only because the script mentions it, but, you know, just having to still work with pandemic and those types of things, you know, it's just, it's it's been a challenge. Um, so it does lean a little bit more on, Echine sound to 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 build that environment, which so what this time has provided for then is for Echine and Durley to really have those extra time and extra days to like Echine went home early yesterday to to work on one sound piece and would and it was just you know it's just like go home go go do your stuff like and and to be able to have that has been a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't wait to see it. This sounds yeah. amazing. Hooray. I can't wait to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to do it, Maya. See you at World Week Work Time. My pen, because everybody, I just, I like the, I like the, my pens that I like. And I, you know, got to take notes. Got to take notes. Mm -hmm. so That's why I got the pen that locks, oh God, what's the way here? That locks in a place so I can't click it. Oh, no. 
Yeah. <laughs> the um, power of the click. The power of the click. Yeah. So, so, uh, I, I mean, I, I, it, I'm, I guess we've been saying out there that it's like, it's a, it's a show about like what we do for family. Right. But it's not a family show. Do you know what I mean? It's like, so don't, I hope people don't. And that's why I started throwing up the dystopian thing on there and things like that. And we've got like a trigger warning on this, on the website and things because it's, it's not, not bring a family. Don't, yeah. Don't bring your seven year old. Don't like, this is not, it's not a family show. So I hope, I hope all the adults like it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, I don't know. I, when are you going to come and see it, Lisa? When are you, when are you coming? Well, I'll have to work it into my schedule because I work every other show at our show. So, yeah, actually, <laughs> which we're right across the... That's the name of the show. It, it sounds like I'm transitioning in conversation. Actually. No. no. It's actually. And <laughs> it's right across the river from you. So it won't be hard to get there except for timing. Well, you you all were on last week talking talking about actually. So everybody out there, you can go and watch last week's episode and find out about actually actually. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. So that's. I mean, yeah. We're gonna we're. I, I'm I'm tentatively excited. <laughs> I think that's the best you can be at I think preview that's day. That's I'm great. Gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there and just say I'm excited. Yeah, you are. I'm gonna take a risk there. <laughs> to get Jamie Lynn to say tentatively excited, though, that's pretty okay. good. It that's is good. pretty it's good. It's really good. good. Yeah. I'm preparing to be excited. Well, <laughs> we don't know if we will. I will ever be excited, but I'm preparing for it. <laughs> we'll prepare for your excitement. <laughs> oh. I know. Is there anything? I I don't I don't really have anything else to to say. That you know, we always got to keep the keep the the gotcha moment, as one of our other friends like mm -hmm. to say it on the on the, on the hush hush. And so, but it's a constructive show. There's always going to be something that you're like, oh no, <laughs> and it has one. It's oh, oh it. no, yeah. So yeah, Hopefully, and just to oh no. Be in a dark room with other people experiencing something and being mm -hmm. on a journey, I think, is something we all mm -hmm. need right now. So everyone, including me, I will be there. Let's go see Babel. Let's support yeah. the constructivists and all the hats they all wear. Um, well, and you can do a double header because your your uh, your matinees are at 2 p.m., right? No, uh, we're four. Well, oh, no! Four on Saturday, two on Sunday. Um, yeah, two, where ours are on Sunday. Oh. So you could go and see actually at 90 2 minutes, p.m. No yep. on Sunday. Good. And then cross and then the bridge Good. to the Broadway Theater Center and see Babel right after. Actually and Babel on a double header on Sunday. Yeah. Just get all dark and twisty in it. Yeah, and it's spring, so the walk over the bridge will be rejuvenating. Mm -hmm. Maybe not mm -hmm. nice, because it you know might rain, it might be windy, but <laughs> rejuvenating. <laughs> Hooray! We solved it. We solved Your climate schedule. change. We solved climate change today. <laughs> Good. Just just ambulate. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, I don't know any uh, you three. Is there anything else you want to say before I before I boot you out of the interwebs here? Uh, no, just, just be happy, happy to do the thing. Yeah, come see the thing. Come see the thing. thing again. www.theconstructivists.org. Theater's not theater without you. Go see it. All right, Maya, I can eat. Kai, go back to work. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah. Bye, all yeah, nice you. Bye. Nice meeting you. Bye. How exciting! I'm so excited for you. It's good. Pe they're good people. They, they, just there, there's you know this. There's there's a lot of great artists in this city. Uh, the, the, we just have to keep working and keep producing to to give people a chance that's that's all that it takes there's a lot of excited people to to do things uh yeah. i hope nobody steals echinae from me though because echinae's 
Agony is awesome. Um, not that Kai isn't as well. Kai is also awesome. All of our people are awesome. Uh, it's so like a lot of awesome souls today. Yeah. I I will say, and I've said I've said this, and I, I'm not ashamed to say it, but I think you know that whole thing about how you can you can judge a person by their friends. I think I'm doing okay. Like I think yeah. I think I'm doing oh. okay with, with the the people that that come and and hang around my grumpy ass. I I think I'm I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for doing all this for the the community and for the theater community and you know I mean besides constructivists for doing got a thing. It's very it's very refreshing and it reminds us all why we we do all these things because you know we're like what's that what's that um metaphor like a swan looks like they're gliding peacefully across the lake but underneath the water their legs are going like oh <laughs> i i haven't seen that it's all there's also like the iceberg thing that pops into like the, you see the tip of the iceberg and then underneath it's the, it's the whole thing. yeah <laughs> no i just you, but, those of us who have been doing this for for quite a few years, uh, we do, we continue to do it. It's, it's certainly not for the money. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, you know, you know, because I, I talk about this endlessly about the the theater alliance is that I it, the reason that I'm working so hard is that so that we can all get paid better. Um, yeah. But we certainly do this because because the art form is so great and that catharsis and the, being in the room with people that you were just talking about, that's it's it's needed and important. So Yeah. Do you so do you wanna do you wanna mention anything about actually let me pull up that graphic? I sure do. Quick. Here because you all again were talking about it <laughs> last week, so you can go to last week's episode. But this is your second weekend now, yeah? Yes, yeah. Uh, Wine Wednesday was wild. Uh, I should mention to everyone, every Wednesday at Renaissance Theater Works is Wine Wednesday. And you get a voucher for a free glass of wine. So, What do you um, do for the people who don't drink? The, you can have a soft drink. You can, you can, you know, and if you don't like wine, you can have a beer if you want. Oh, okay. um, but so basically just a free drink but that's it, true but, but wine wednesday sounds better yeah. right and it's just you know it seems of of the zeitgeist of renaissance theater works yes 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 yes, 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 yes. Uh, but yes so that went really well uh we had a college group from uwm on wednesday which was super fun i just love seeing new theater goers and yes. a couple of them were dressed to the nines and it yes! made my heart sing. Like I wasn't sure how to dress cause I don't usually go to the theater and I wanted to dress up and you know, Oh my gosh. I mean, college kids keep getting younger somehow, but they, I just want to pinch their little cheeks. I was so happy. And don't do show, that. I think you get like, yeah. Arrested for Shit well, like you have to move their mask to get to the cheeks these days. So it's just not advised. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, but yeah. Um, but this show in particular, you know, it's about um, consent on college yeah. campuses. And yeah. um, one thing Jim Higgins said in the review that I was really happy about is that it's not about, uh, I think this was Jim, one of the things that came out this week was it's mm -hmm. it's not villains and heroes. It's, um, you know, about everyone being human and vulnerable and the gray areas that exist in and among all of us. So I, I love a play like that. I love nuance and different ways to think about things and ways to put yourself in other people's shoes and just really squish around in there and feel how it is. So... I was just um, thinking, I think we're on opposite uh, ends of the spectrum because I don't think the constructivists are into nuance. I think we're more like hammering on head type. <laughs> no, you make a theater, it does all the things. We're not shy. We're not yeah. shy. What is this nuance you speak of? <laughs> to hell with it. We must Black, white. actually yeah. to figure out this nuance. <laughs> yes, try to come to this human emotion or understanding of nuance yes so no. again go to actually at 2 p.m on sunday see the nuance 
right? Come over to a Broadway theater center for the conservatives and watch Babel and get hammered over the head. That's that's <laughs> go home shorter yet wiser. Go yeah. home shorter and wiser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, oh. yeah, so it runs till April third. So same weekend as you, one day longer because we close on Sunday, and um, it's it's really beautiful, and I I love people of all ages to see it, you know, I think sometimes people see it and it's like, oh, well, I'm not really in college, you know, or at that age anymore. Sure. And certainly we want college um, students and people around that age to see it because I think, I think they'll feel seen. And I think, you know, it's a chance to understand themselves and their peers. Um, you know, one of the heartbreaking realizations I come up away with, and, you know, this isn't a spoiler, but it's just like, you think about yourself so so much and you think everyone can see that about you, but they're thinking about themselves so right. much, you know? And so it's that heartbreaking, like, just, oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's going well. Wine Wednesday is a fun time to come. We have Pay What You Like on Monday night. Is your Pay What You Like also Monday? Uh, no, we've, we've got a, and, and mine is uh, ours over at the constructivist is P W T F Y. <laughs> now you're just saying letters. What? No, it's it's pay pay whatever the you want. Great. Yeah. Love it. But it's but it's really it's really all the time. I I you know if if there's a there's a form on the site and. Because again, I'm just, I just, I just want more people. I want more people to show up to theater, like you said, like they're they're, they're dressed up and things, all those things that we've forgotten the first time that we went to to theater, fifty years ago or whatever that is now. Uh, the to to get more people like that to get excited about theater and see the full the full spectrum of the musicals and the college thing and the people dying and the, you know, like the whole, there's, there's so much out there. It's such a great art form. We need to get more people in there. And so I, I sacrifice all of my monies that I'm not getting paid so that hopefully people can, so that I can, at least that's all I can offer. You know, like that's, that's all I can do is like, Hey, if you don't have the money, you need to get your butt in here because hopefully I do, I see, I see things like Babel and stuff like that, like a, a gateway drug, because I think people are really messed up in the head. So <laughs> they just, they just won't admit it. They just, yeah. Admit it. And just to so, say out loud, dressing up is not necessary. I mean, come as you are for sure, but it is fun to see, you know, if someone is excited or. I love it. You know, do dress however you yeah. feel best. Just come, bring your you whole do self. You, you do yeah. you. But there's there's been times when I've gone to things and I'm like, am I supposed to be dressed up now? And so I still because I still think about it. Like I'll go to I'll go to Skylight or whatever. And I'm like, am I supposed to be wearing better pants? Because I'm wearing <laughs> jeans. Like, I, How I high should these shoes be for today? I don't yeah, know. I just, mm -hmm. So <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I I uh, uh, that's yeah. Go go and go and do the pay the pay what you can and and all the things and just just go and see some stuff. It's mm -hmm. it'll make you feel. But I promise, I promise it'll make you feel better. Even babble will make you feel better. It's just, it no matter how that catharsis gets out. If it's Get out of just it's your own head. Here, it's yeah. just, it's a very specific thing to this, to this art form. And that's why I love it so much. Yes. So Hooray. do you want me to go through these other things? So you got to go back to work and, and crack the whip at Kai and things. <laughs> Cause Kai is also our administrative assistant, which yeah. is amazing. I think that's awesome. So Kai just like bounces back and forth between, mm -hmm. it's great. All the things. Kai is great. Kai is great. Uh, don't, I, no, I can stay for a couple minutes. Go okay. for it. All right. Well, let me let me just go through these. There, there. As far as theater alliance companies today, uh, I think everybody is recalibrating and things. I think some stuff is coming up uh, in April for sure. Like Skylight is opening, uh, Raisin and things like that. So, but um, for right now, we've got uh, Capita Productions. Uh, we've talked about this a little bit. There, what this now is about their virtual programming because they just had their live live shows last weekend. Um, but you can get 
uh, we are the drum virtual programming in, in your school, your community center, your, your things, because if you don't know CAPITA, it stands for City at Peace in the Arts. And their whole mission is to raise uh, multicultural awareness and racial harmony through community theater. And I think that that's just awesome. And I've seen that group sing their faces off and it's just it's like hearing the angels is all I'm going to say about it. Nice. So, um, and then, uh, as we always talk about on here, um, imagine MKE who allows us to use their, their platform here. Uh, wonderful, wonderful organization trying to do all it can to uh, get us all of the monies. Is really the whole goal is to, is to, help to bring more arts funding to Wisconsin, to Milwaukee, to all the things. Um, and But I, I just want to keep impressing on people, if you love the arts, we could really use your help to advocate to your representatives to, to talk to them and let them know that art is important, you know, so that we can stop being 49th in state funding of the arts uh, next to Arizona, who is zero now. That's awesome. Uh, right. So we're so, last. That's not zero. We're not last, but it's not much better uh, when Minnesota, right next door, is number one. So that's all I'm saying. That's let's let's strive to be more like Minnesota. Is is what I will say about that. Um, and of all you, the healing we have to do yes. from the pandemic and from racial harm and all the things, um, the arts and culture are one of the few things that can help us all through that. I mean, you know, therapy, um, policy change and the systems for sure. But I think there's something healing about experiencing arts and culture together and yeah. it's just special. So we're yeah. not going to get through or we're not going to get better without it. So that's what I think. I, 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 I'm so, I'm so theater minded. I, I don't know a better vehicle, frankly, but I'm, I'm a little biased to, to, to help ease some of the, you know, of the empathy and everything that's needed. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but you can go to imaginemke.org slash act, and they will give you all the things that you could possibly ever want to help you write to your people. Easy oh. to use tools. They oh, make yeah. it easy. Yes, super easy. Um, so go and visit them. And then I just finally want to say, reminder for, for the rest of the month, think about women. Uh, the other 11 months out of the year, go back to not thinking about women. <laughs> but, but for now, if you could think about women in your life, please do that. Because I'm sure that you know one. That's right. I just, I've, I, I said, I think I said it last week. I really want to meet a person who doesn't, who's never met a woman. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it's like, I don't know. I'm sure it's happened. I, but, but I just, if somebody was like taken into the clergy. The brotherhood. Maybe, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> But I'm sure it could happen. I just don't want to be really small minded. I think that there's probably somebody out there, but I just want to meet that person. Um, yeah. So, but, but then they wouldn't be that person anymore because they would have met you. I know. Mm. <laughs> what a conundrum. Uh, so, but just just Google Women's History Month. I mean, I, you you. I'm sure there are tons of things. Even just how the process of Women's History Month came about is is beneficial. Just the same thing like Black History Month. Just Google why Black History Month is a thing. Just it's it, it, it your brain will expand you will be automatically smarter yeah and it was it last week we passed uh equal pay day which i thought was just like a moment to realize and think about how women are not paid equally but i i think now i didn't found this so i could be wrong but i think it's the day in march that represents the day you would have caught up with what a man makes by December 31st. Let's just yeah. think about that. Yeah. That ain't right. Yeah, because it's still it's it's still a thing. It's and, and pandemic hasn't made it any better because so many of us ended up 
leaving the workforce and staying home to take the care of the kids because that's the default. Yeah. It's or the not parents or yeah, somebody or some take care of somebody. Yeah, for sure. So, um, so yeah, just do that. Um, thank you so much, Lisa, for, for coming on and, and talking about the theaters and talking with us and let me know yeah. when you want to come and, and I'll, I'll get you the really good seat in, in the studio. I thank you I so much. I know each of them very for well. you. I yeah. will. Each seat has well, seen me before. <laughs> you tell me which seat you want, and I will save it because it has the names on there. So if there's a name that you want to. Pam I'm, Krieger. I want Pam Krieger's seat. We will put you in Pam Krieger's seat. It'll be fine. And there's going to be somebody who's like, but I wanted Pam Krieger's seat. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, go see Actually. Come to Babel starting tomorrow. And uh, I guess I'm hosting next week. Or maybe we'll get. One of the other ones, maybe Maya will host it. Maybe Kyle will host next week. Like get somebody to to do this instead of me. Thank uh, you for doing it. Uh, happy preview and opening, because I, you know. Thank you. Break legs. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, I don't know who's on next week, but it'll be somebody. It'll be good. And it'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. So thank you all out there for, for going to see theater, go and see some theater and uh, tell your friends about this show. And then hopefully we'll see you next week. Yeah. And then you've got a thing. You've got a thing. <laughs>